I booked my air ticket with 900 ringgit Malaysia per head from Cebu to Kuala Lumpur to Tempasa, Bali. I arrived to Bali at 8 p.m. I booked this hotel Legion Village from Airbnb with only 99 ringgit include breakfast. This is the room with queen size bag. This is the toilet, the sink, and the bathtub. And it is only 50 minutes ride from Tempasa Airport to Legion Village. It has a swimming pool, quite big. Day 2. After we have our breakfast, we went to the Palma Beach, only 10 minutes walking distance. It is a nice beach for those who like to surf. After that, we went to Ubud by a taxi, Bluebird. It costs 300k from Kuta to Ubud. Once we reach Ubud, we check in our hotel Pineapple House. I booked from Airbnb too, with only 82 ringgit Malaysia included breakfast too. There's the room with queen size bag, the TV and refrigerator. There is the toilet and the shower room. It is clean and highly recommend to you guys. I rent a bike with the Pineapple House owner. It costs only 60k per day. During my time in Bali, Hindus were celebrating their Hari Raya Galungan. So you are able to see this kind of decorations along the roadside at the front of the house called Benjo. This is the petrol station in Bali, unique. We had our lunch at Pepe Pengil. The scenery is very nice here. You can enjoy the food and scenery here. But trust me, that's not the best Pepe in Bali. After our lunch, we went to the Tagalalan Rice Terrace, a must-go place. The view is amazing. One thing I didn't like is there are two donation stations along the way to the top. They will block your way if you don't want to donate or you donate less than 10k. There are three Bali swings in the rice terrace. It costs 100k per head to swing around 10 minutes. Quite interesting. Upu Pelex. The Pelex was the official residence of the royal family of Ubud. Chapuhan Raj Walk is a free and easy natural track. It spans an approximate 9 kilometers in total. That's a good place for you to fly your drop as well. We have our dinner at Warong Madu. The price is quite reasonable and delicious. Highly recommend. Day 3 Graha Adventure Rafting at Ayu River. It costs 400k per head. From there, you walk about 50 minutes down a very small and steep trail to the river. The trip on the river was about 2 hours with a stop in the middle. You can jump into the river and swim for a while. There was a stop at the waterfall as well. There is a huge climb at the end. Great for very fit people. The Tangbundungang waterfall is only several minutes worth down the trail. The water volume is impressive at almost any time of the year. The Batuan Temple is considered as the oldest temple in Bali. 
This temple was designed with voluminous ornaments and the roof was made from the fiber of the coconut tree with black color. Goa Gaja or Elephant Cave People believe that it built as a spiritual place for meditation. You can observe the cave as well. It is not too big as well. And the condition in the cave is quite a little bit dark. This is famous Bali Green. It costs 40k. Bali popular for massage. There are a lot of massage shops in Bali. The price is reasonable and affordable. The cheapest I get is only 60k per hour. Almost every day I went for a massage. Day 4, morning. We walk to Monkey Forest for our hotel Pineapple House. It takes around 15 minutes only. There are a lot of monkeys for sure. Take care of your bag and your camera as well. Punchak Kintamani Restaurants, the place you can enjoy the buffet with the amazing views of three largest mountains in Bali. There are various choice of food that you can eat here. The cost of the buffet is 100k per head. You must try this satay chicken. And the black rice Bali. Here are the three mountains. The first one is Gulung Agong. And this one is Gulung Abang. And the last one is Gulung Batur. The Jewel Park Bato have an amazing view. It is a perfect place to fly your drone. Toya Divasya Hospital. There are few hot and cold pools in this place. The entrance fee is 200k per head. It is quite expensive and not really worth. At least you spend a day there to enjoy the pool, views, music, and drinks. Titao Umbu is an important temple complex and holy mountain spring located in the village of Manukaya in central Bali. Gulung Kawi Temple Bali is one of cultural conservations as well as Ubud tourist attractions. The building in Gunung Gawe Temple is a Balinese Hindu shrine which built in 11th century. Day 5 depart from Sano Wharf to Nusa Lembonga. We put at Maling Speedboat. It costs 450k per head, include return ticket and free transport to your hotel at Nusa Lembonga. This is the timetable for the boat. There are 3 trips per day 10 am. 1 p.m. and 4 p.m. and depart from Lombongan is 8.30 a.m., 11.30 a.m. and 3 o'clock p.m. This is our speedboat with 3 engines. This is the free transport to our hotel at Nusa Lombongan. I booked this homestay near Man guest house from Airbnb with only 82 ringgit Malaysia include breakfast. The place is very nice and clean. This is the outdoor swimming pool. And this is our room and this is the queen size bag and 
with the aircon and this is the shower room and the toilet I rent a bike 75k from Yuman and book a box to Nusa Faninda with his uncle 150k per head for next morning we have our lunch at Warung Bambu, Nusa Lumbungan. The price is reasonable and delicious too. After lunch, we went to the Yellow Bridge, a bridge that connecting Nusa Lumbungan and Nusa Cheningan, a nice spot to take a photo. You have to buy a drink to access the Nusa Cheningan secret beach. The beach itself is beautiful and never crowded. It is good for you to spend a couple of hours and relax there. Devil's Tears on Nusa Lumbungan is the single best sunset spot on the island. It is a nice place to spend a couple of hours here to enjoy the view. Again, it is a nice spot to take off your drone as well. We have our dinner at Nusa Lumbungan. The price of the food is uh, quite reasonable and affordable, quite cheap. And this is my favorite avocado juice. Day 6, we use a small boat to Nusa Peninda, which pre-booked with Nyoman 150k per head include return. It takes around 15 minutes from Nusa Lumbungan to Nusa Peninda. We rent a bike with 75k and go around the island. First, we went to Crystal Bay. The beach is good for snorkeling. There are various snorkeling spots offered by the local people there with different prices too. We have our lunch at Nusa Padida before we go to Klinkin Beach. Kalinking Beach in Nusa Panida, the most amazing views in Indonesia. The T-Rex Sharp Cliff is a natural iconic beauty. Angel Villabong and Brooklyn Beach has an excellent view. Worth the time to get there. Bike is very up and down and the roads are very difficult to navigate if you have no experience. Just be careful if you ride a bike to this place. We request to change a room at Nyoman guest house Due to the bed got annoying sound. We sleep and rest at the guest house before go out for dinner. This is our bed, queen size bag. With the aircon. And this is the toilet and the shower room, it is quite big Warum with Ha The food is nice and delicious but we have to wait for the food to serve on the table quite a long time As you can see the price is quite ok and reasonable Day 7, we back to Kuta Legend Village.
This is the another room at Legend Village. Same, it is a. Uh, it has a queen size bag. This is the bathroom and the toilet. We went to Uluwatu, the most popular area on Bali, Bukit Peninsula best known for the landmark cliff top temple of the same name. Pandam Pandam Beach is one of Bali's most famous surf spots and just a kilometer southwest of the Uluwatu Temple. Garuda Vishnu Kanchana GWK is a cultural park located in Ugasa. This is the traditional dance. It's famous for the ongoing construction of a gigantic statue of Vishnu riding on the back of Garuda, which estimate will be complete in October 2018. This is the statue. BMC Money Changer. The local driver advised us to change our money at this place, which it is trustful money changer company in Bali. After our dinner, we went to Agon Bali and Krishna gift shop to buy something before we back to hotel. Day 8 shopping. We went to Erlanga and Krishna. These two gift shops are highly recommended because it is cheaper. All the gift shops provide packing service and it is very cheap, only cost 10k. We have our lunch at Legend Open Air Market. The satay babi is very delicious and you must try it. The price is very cheap as well. We have our dinner at the Bamboo Garden Cafe. The price is reasonable and the backpack here is only 50k and it is more delicious than the backpack at Pupuk. That's my entire travel diary in Bali. Please subscribe me if you like my content. Thank you very much. Bye.